What's good, y'all, man? It's your boy, Brad City Boy 23 coming to you guys with another video. And we was in an intense game the other day, so I had to bring you the footage. It was only right. So we're playing um, against this squad, you know. And they're, I believe they were like 27 and 4 or 27 and 3, one of the two. And our, our team currently, right now, you know, uh, we're 95 and 2. We're 95 and 2. Got two L's because, you know, I decided to pick up anybody. You know, two games in a row I got called lagging. One game, well, the one game we could have won, but, you know, I, I told Kobe, I said, yo, Kobe, um, come run with us. I was like, come run with us or whatever. This nigga Kobe joins the party. He's, he don't, he's not even on the mic, bro. He, he like he's not on the mic. He got all of us muted. We're playing a team with two centers and three uh two shooting centers and three slashers. And I'm like, yo, bro, three two, three two. That's the only way we're gonna stop them from the cheese they were doing inside the paint. He ain't listening. So of course we got beat from that shit because we couldn't switch. We only lost. We lost by. We could have won. We had a buzzer beater shot, but the buzzer beater shot ain't going in. It was a clear look, but unfortunately it didn't end out the way we wanted it to. The second time I got called lacking. I picked up three three playmakers. I ran with three playmakers just to get a game and to stay active. But it backfired on me. We ended up losing to an undefeated uh, game sliders team that we're definitely going to match up with um, again because I told him I'd have my three. I'd have Lito's or Buddy. I didn't have Stidger or J-Rod. So none of us played. None of them played that game. So I told him, you know what? Let's uh, make sure we get to run that. So we're going to run that. I'm going to bring the footage to you guys after we play them. So those are my only two L's. But besides that, the trio, well, the trio, the quad, whatever you want to call it, we haven't lost a game yet. Um, shout out to J-Rod, man. J-Rod's been hooping with us. He's been, you know, he's been doing good, picking up buckets because we are missing. We got the four. We got me, Stidger, Litos, and Buddy, but we're missing that shooting center that we want. And uh, right now we picked up J-Rod. J-Rod's doing a hell of a job. But um, right now, man, um, I need, I'm looking for two sharpshooters because Buddy and Litos got school. So I, I try to get games in, but it's kind of hard. I don't want to risk it, but I want to find someone that can at least be just as good or if better, possibly. But I highly doubt it, man, because we're trying to get two people that can really shoot and have high IQ and know how to play defense. So, um, And then you got to build that chemistry with the new people, too. But they're not on. They usually get on late night. And I'll be trying to get games in because you guys know I'm all day. I'm on this shit all Like, not all day, but, I, you know, I stream. I do YouTube when I can, you know, so... I'm just trying to make sure that we can stay active and still stay in that top 17 to qualify. Um, this was a hell of a game. It was back and forth the whole way, nonstop. As you can see, they're up on a 74-71 right here. Um, Stitcher hasn't been, have, wasn't on for like five days. So we were, we actually wanted to get Stitcher a warm-up game to see how it went. And we got called lacking. We wouldn't even went in there with two glass cleaners. We didn't even have a shooting center. They had a shooting center, which actually was the reason why they killed us because we couldn't have our, you know, a glass cleaner couldn't keep up with them that well. But, you know, we, we managed to hold it down um, defensively pretty much for the most part. Here we are down 74-71. As you can see, he's trying to L2 and hold the ball, kill some clock. And here goes Cam. But I step up in his face, and he's broken. And there my boy, my boy got Jay got the rebound. Carlos calls a timeout so that the center doesn't get ripped. And, you know, hopefully we can get a good possession. So it was a really tough game, man. Shout out to that, man. It was a great game. And I enjoy competition. I enjoy playing games that are really intense. You know, you get a kick out of it. You know, the adrenaline starts rushing. You don't want to lose. But look at this pass to Lidos, though. Lidos for a three, though. Green light! <laughs> so, man, um, I apologize for not being consistent as much as I can, bro. I really, you guys don't understand. I'm trying to get into this tournament. We're trying to get into this tournament. And it's already as hard, you know, trying to stream. And um, people don't really like when I stream Pro-Am. People say pro ams boring. People, I'm not going to lie, Pro-Am is boring. When you're not playing comp, but when you're playing comp, anybody, when, when it's a competition game, anyone will watch a pro game, but when you're not playing it, they don't want to watch that shit, but here I am with another good contest, and we are here 74-74, Lito's with another timeout, he wastes all our timeout in the fourth quarter, for 41 seconds, I was very questionable about this, but then at the end of the day, it ended up being a good call, so here we are with 41 seconds left, and ball, so here we go, J-Rod inbounds to Lito's, Lito's with the ball, inbounds it to me, I'm over here trying to get something going, but... I almost go out of bounds, but he got the ball, hits me, Stitcher hits me in the corner, he's there, pump fake, get out of there, hit Lito's back with the around rope, here we go, Lito's in the corner, he swings it to me, me for three, green light, you know I came through with the clutch to put us up three with 22 seconds, I wish I could put the audio in the game, man, I was very pumped, the team was pumped, and we was, we was hype as hell, you know what I mean, because we were down by 14 at one point in this game, you know, until we went man and we locked them up, we started locking up in the man 
and we just really went off from there. So here we are, man, with 77, um, 74, 15 seconds left. Um, we they get a they, here they go with that lucky layup. <laughs> I call it the lucky layup. We almost got a shit punch. But 12 seconds left, man. And you guys know, man, 2K has to fix this. And I already told them they have to fix this. But here they go fouling me. Um, they found me. This they I think they found me twice. I believe they found me twice. You know, um, I was just trying to be the playmaker for my team. Get the open looks. I'm here with 15 assists. Um, so here you go with Stitcher, and that's 10 seconds. You see the crowd standing up. The game's all hype. We're at their home court. And here we go. I get fouled again. And what does the team do? The time out cheese. They try to hit me with the timeout cheese. As you guys know, the camera's all fucked up when someone calls a timeout. So it's 77, 76, and I'm thinking, what the fuck? But I told my team, put the ball in my hands. I got an 86 free throw. So look at the way I got to shoot for us to win the game the way I had to shoot. And it's like, wow, bro. But I had faith in my shot. And bang, I put one down, man. I, I put one down. We're up by two with eight seconds left. Put another one down to put us up three. You know, our team's sitting here. Everybody's hype going crazy and we're just sitting here like yo get everybody on my team like yo hold it down play defense and right here it was a questionable call i didn't really like i thought we could have played defense but you know stitch fouled uh stitch fag meg and he went to the line i really thought we could have just played defense and won that game because they only had eight seconds left but you know at the end of the day maybe it was a good call well i felt like it, it, it ended up being a good call it was questionable at first but ended up working out for the best um here they go 78-79. And you know, bruh, well, we're at, we're in, a, we were at the top 10 at this point, and we didn't want, if we would have lost, it would have got ugly for us because then we would have got deranked like crazy because when you lose, you get down, you go down like crazy. And now they have it so that you match up with elites. But I haven't touched pro in two days because my squad hasn't been on. Well, yesterday we were actually on, but, you know, pro was geeking on the top teams were getting kicked out. I, I actually communicated with the uh, 2K team, and I tried telling them, like, bruh, People are getting kicked out, getting angry. To, we can't. I'm, we're an elite three team, and he hit that shot on four of us. And here we are in overtime, man, because he hit that shot. But I let them know, like, bro, us elite teams, man, we're trying to sit here and play. We can't even play game because we're out here getting kicked out. But now they have it that we match up with elite teams. We let them know, like, bro, at least matches up with elite team. But here we go with the assist the Lidos for three, though. And we up 83 to 80. Oh, man. So. Here I am with 13 and 16. Everyone had a game. That boy Buddy had an awesome game. We all as a team had an awesome game. You know, Carlitos was quiet in the first half, but he came up and he showed up and like after during when it was crunch time, the whole team showed up. And there he goes with another three. 86, 83. We're up. And pretty much from this point on, we basically we basically go up from here. And um <clears throat> we go up from here and things start going our way. Um, we ended up winning this game. Uh, I didn't want to. I know you guys would probably get bored with the talk because it was so much talking, but I am trying to find them two sharpshooters, at least people who are just who can play just as good as Buddy and Lido's, which I highly doubt it's gonna be hard to find someone just like them, you know, because everybody has their own personnel, everyone has a different chemistry. But I'm definitely trying to find that matchup so that I can have people to run with when they're in school. Um, I already got a three. I got me. I, I, I can count on J. Rod and Stidge to be there. I just need two sharpshooters to be there when they're not there, you know what I mean? And to see how it goes. So if you feel like you're an elite sharpshooter and you can run with us and you have that IQ and that defense, please let me know, man, because we can really use it. We definitely could use it. Um, You know, let me know, man. Uh, I'm, I apologize for, like, the inconsistency on the videos. I promise, man, I'm going to try to get you, get you a video when I can, man. I try. It's probably one of my longest videos. Here I go. But look at this, Rise. When I got my Playmaker Pro on, Look at my look at my free throw. It's an 86 free throw. But I guess that only happens when your playmaker pros on. But after this, we pretty much win. So this is your boy signing out. I just want to bring you video, bring you this video today. I'm tired as fuck, man. But I'm out to stream after this video. So make sure you guys tune into the stream. It's your motherfucking boy, and you ain't no lay lay your ass down. And you know if you can't find me, that means your jump shot is broken. Hit that sub button, man. 63K gang. Let's eat, what?